my dear friends, today is the sixth Sunday in ordinary time. The gospel is quite long and it is self-explanatory, so I won't talk for long. There was this debate between Jesus and Satan. So Satan was bragging that, oh, he has a lot of people following him. Jesus was saying, oh, I am the son of God. I mean, I know that the earth, they always go to church, so they follow me. Satan said, okay, let's, let's go and then see if that is true. So they went to earth, one part of earth, and the people were there. Jesus was on the right, Satan on the left. What was dividing Jesus and Satan was a fence wall. So Jesus was crying out. People were following Jesus. They would come to the right. Satan was also crying out. They would also come to the left. And there was this man. He just climbed the fence and sat on it. He didn't make a choice. So Jesus disappeared. He left with his followers. Satan likewise disappeared and left with his followers. After three minutes, Satan returned as if he was looking for something that was lost. This man on the fence said, ah, Satan, are you looking for something? Satan looked at him and said, no, don't worry. I'll find what I'm looking for. I am looking for you. The man said, ah, but I didn't make a choice. I am sitting on the fence. Satan smiled and said, I own the fence. My dear friends, <laughs> life is full of choices. Every day of our life, we make choices. And we are responsible for the choices we make. I'm sure you chose to wake up the time you woke up. You chose the dress you wanted to wear, the food you wanted to eat. You chose to come for evening mass. You could have come for any other mass. We may have made choices in life that we are not so happy about. We thought they were good choices, but at the end, they ended up to be bad choices. If we could turn the hands of time, I am sure we would make a different choice. But for some people, they tend to be indecisive, to sit on the fence, forgetting that the fence belongs to Satan. Today, Jesus is placing before us life and death, fire and water, good and evil. He is asking us to make a choice. He is giving us that free will. He does not give license to anyone to sin. He would want us to freely choose him, to choose life. These small choices that we make in life, I mean, they are good, but there is a great choice that today the Lord is asking of us, and that is life and death. That is the major choice that the Lord is asking of us. And we make that choice every day of our lives. Let us come to our readings for today. Our first reading is from the book of Ben Sirach, the 15th chapter. To really understand this, you read from 13, 14 going, you understand what Ben Sirach was talking about. So Sirach is a wisdom literature. It always gives wise counsel. So verse 14, Sirach... We'll be talking about the pursuit of wisdom and the reward that comes from pursuing wisdom. You continue to read further, it will talk about how God hides, how God hides wisdom from sinners. It will also make us aware that choosing wisdom and sinning is a choice of the free will. We choose it freely. The Lord does not force us. And then he will come down and say that it is not as if God causes us to sin. If God should cause us to sin, then one, we don't have any free will. Two, he cannot punish us because he's the one who caused us to sin. But my dear friends, we are all given the freedom to choose. To choose life or death. That is what Sirach is telling us. Jesus in our gospel reading would go deeper to make us aware that it's not just about going straight to what the law says, but it's about our inner intentions and about the spirit of the law. So you ask yourself, this, this choice, is it life-giving choice? 
or it is a choice that will lead me to death. The thoughts that I have in my head, is it a life-giving choice? Is it going to give life or it is one that will lead me to death? Your actions, are they going to give you life? Are they leading to God or they are leading to death? You say, oh, I don't, I don't matter. I mean, I've not killed anyone. That is fine. But Jesus will tell us it's not just about taking a knife and killing someone. It's about the inner intentions, our anger, how you control your anger. Sometimes the words that comes out from our mouth can kill faster than even taking a knife to kill someone. Jesus wants us to understand today that it is not just about going straight to the laws as the scribes and the Pharisees would do. So he will tell us, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, the laws are on their lips. They can recite it, but they never practice it. They will put heavy burdens on people. They themselves will not even lift a finger to help. What choices have you made last week that you were not so happy about? Just reflect. We made choices of life, choices of good, choices that would bring you closer to God, or choices that would drive you away to Satan. The choice is yours today. The Lord is asking you to choose what is right. It is the only way that will lead you to heaven. May the good Lord bless and keep us. Amen.